Brittany Fadlin and friends, welcome you to another chapter of Sax Interpretations. Featuring Courtney Fadlin Daniel Jackson Marcus Steele Sean Walters and Sheldon Palmer with our host, Delroy Soudan. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Sax Interpretations. It's such a joy to be here once again. Hope that you all are doing well. Um, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but it seems as if the worst is over. Well, before we go any further, um, we have the prayer coming up. I'm still not, um, uh, Carl, if you, uh, Mark, if you could type the name of the, the host for me. I'm still trying to get stuff here together. In fact, we have a co-host. How are you, Andre? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing Delroy? great. Take it over for All me, right. please. I'm going to pray. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father, today we've come to celebrate in sound, Lord. We ask that the music that these psalmists, Lord, these musicians will play will speak to our hearts, Lord, in ways that words could never touch us, Lord. Father, I pray for uh, this ministry. I pray that this ministry will continue to go far and wide and that many lives will be touched. Many downtrodden souls will be uplifted. This is our prayer in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, my brother Andre, thank you. Um, if you can just um, pick up for, for for the rest of the program temporarily until I sort everything out. We still having a Absolutely. little bit of technical situation, so you may continue, sir. Thanks. No worry, no worries. I'm here with you. Well, you know, uh, it's so good to be back uh, to Sax Interpretations, and uh, we have uh, one of my favorite musicians, of course, the founder of this ministry, Courtney Fadlin, who will do our first uh, song today. And so, Courtney, uh, take it take it away. It's so good to be back with you.
Are you enjoying the concert? Is the music touching your heart? Support our artists and their ministry. Donate to them, using any of the methods provided. Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal to name a few. Give to encourage them. Appreciate the blessing and music they have given. Your donation goes a long way. Sustains their ministry. Sustains their families. Don't delay. Do it today. Want to learn to play like that? Or just for fun? Courtney Fadlin can teach you to play the saxophone, clarinet, or flute. Don't put off learning anymore. Call him or send an email to set up lessons. Your time is now. Call 347 391 4714 or email bookings at courtneyfadlin.com. Start learning today. Welcome back to Sax Interpretations. I am Delroy Courtney. I want to thank you so much for those two numbers that you've just provided us. Right now, we're going to have a, uh, a young man from the country of Trinidad and Tobago. His name is Sean. Um, Sean, let me get this right. Sean Walters, and he hails from Trinidad and Tobago. He is going to perform for us right now. Draw me closer. Right after that, we're going to be speaking with Sean before he does his second number. Sean, welcome to Sax Interpretations. <laughs> Bye. 
Oh, yes, that's an awesome, awesome performance from Mr. Sean Walters out of Trinidad and Tobago. Sean, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. How I'm are here. you, man? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining us. I believe this is your first time on Sax Interpretations? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. Good to have you. Yeah. Awesome. Now, let me ask you this. That... Uh, your sound is so crisp, crisp and clear. What inspires you to play the saxophone and how long have you been playing? I've been playing for the past eight years. And um, I started playing because uh, I, I love to worship, I love to sing, but I can't sing to save my life. So um, I decided to try to find my voice through the instrument. Okay, you know? okay. I, and you've only been playing for eight years and you sound easy yeah, practice uh, every day, correct? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Awesome. Now, what does it mean? What does it mean to you every time you perform, every time you pick up the saxophone? What kind of uh, emotion does it invoke in you? And what would you hope for your listeners to get from just hearing you play? Sometimes when I play, it's based on um, a lot of the songs I choose are based on situations that I may, that I may be personally dealing with. And um, this song in particular draw me close to you. There was a particular situation I was dealing with, and I was really crying out to God, asking Him to draw me close to Him. So you know, the songs that I play, I hope that it will actually encourage persons to whether it's to draw close to God or to understand that. You know, it's God and God alone that could take us through different situations, well, any situation in life. So I really hope that my my songs or my music give a message and a, a positive message of that to, to post to any of the listeners that are, that, that are taking it. You know, um, awesome. Music. Awesome. I appreciate that. Now you're going to perform a second song, uh, second song for us. How great is our God? What does that song mean to you? Yeah, that especially during this pandemic. I really had to understand that God is really great and um, he's the one that kept me, my family, and I guess all of us alive today. So we really have to acknowledge that God is great. You know? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Sax Interpretations for the first time. And once again, he is out of Trinidad and Tobago, and here he is with his second performance, How Great Is Our God. Thank you.
Are you enjoying the concert? Is the music touching your heart? Support our artists in their ministry. Donate to them, using any of the methods provided. Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal to name a few. Give to encourage them. Appreciate the blessing and music they have given. Your donation goes a long way. Sustains their ministry. Sustains their families. Don't delay. Do it today. Are you looking for a dependable service and the lowest cost for all your construction and road service needs? If so, contact us at 592-231-5876 or 592-675-6647. Those numbers again, 592-231-5876 or 592-675-6647. Six six four seven. Welcome back to Sax Interpretations. I am Delroy. Right now, let me take a moment to encourage each and every one of you within the sound of my voice right now to sow a seed into Courtney's ministry. It is so vital and important. Courtney has some big plans, and one of those plans is to hit the road with this concert that you're um, you're watching right now sax interpretations so i'm going to urge you guys to just sow a seed whatever you can afford to contribute to the cause please do so for our cash up it's courtney fadlin courtney fadlin c o r t n e y f a d l i n the information is flashing across the screen and you can also donate through zell at courtsax1 at yahoo.com. It's so vital that you support his ministry and help him to take this on the road. I mean, the weather is getting nice. Who wouldn't want to enjoy this concert live and in living color? I know I do. I really would. So once again, so a seed. And I'm going to be reminding you throughout the duration of the show to uh, sow a seed in each person's ministry. Their cash-ups will uh, more than likely show up during their performances and would like for you to donate to each one. All right, right now we're taking you back to the island of Jamaica. Mr. Sheldon Palmer, who is no stranger to sax interpretations, he is back with us. And his first performance will be through it all. After that, I'm going to be speaking with him and after that, he's going to be going into his second and final performance. Welcome, Sheldon, to Sax Interpretations once again.
That was uh, Sheldon Palmer out of Kingston, Jamaica. No strangers to uh, no stranger to sax interpretation. Sheldon, are you there? Yeah, I'm not here. How are you doing, man? I'm good. What's going on? I'm doing great, man. This guy is so laid back and mellow. Every time we talk, he's like so chill. <laughs> how how is it been going down there in Jamaica now that it seems as if we are on the other side somewhat of the uh coronavirus? What's the, what's the climate like? I mean, you know Jamaicans are unruly. So COVID, COVID, <laughs> no COVID. Just another day. It is what it is, right? It's just another day for us. <laughs> COVID and no COVID. We still go home at midnight. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, what have you been up to musically and just in your general life? What, what's been going on? What's exciting been happening in your world? You know, funnily enough, I haven't been playing sax much anymore. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, what, do you have a new no. hobby now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. My hobby, my hobby is making money. Well, yeah, that's always a good one. <laughs> yeah, man, but I've been, I've been mostly in production now um nice. producing producing for um different artists myself and you know nice nice focusing on that's nice man but don't give up the socks whatever you do i mean we can no, take no, no, break, no. That, won't, that won't happen i won't give it i won't give it up it's just like you know it it's just so time consuming okay got to, you you know so yeah Say so flip that to making some money. I, I, I'm not mad at you at all. <laughs> it, is a, it is what it is. Now, before you are uh, going to your second uh, performance, your second song, um, do you have a cash, ca uh, PayPal, Zelle, whatever, you know, if anyone is interested in donating to your ministry? I want everybody to donate to Courtney's ministry. You see, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's yeah. a good attitude to have. Now, um, I know you've you've probably been asked this question before. What does uh, music in general mean to you? What what kind of emotion does it evoke when you, you know, get on the stage and start to to play? That's a big question. What does music mean? Music means so much. It's like it, it's it's a. It's like an escape for me, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like there are times when you feel a certain type of way and you just want to escape, you just escape by either. You either mm. go listen to a certain type of music 
it's different different moods it just it just music for me just carries me through whatever i'm going through a lot of the, right. a lot of the music that i listen to now nowadays is silence mm. you, know, I, I, you know so we all need I, that yeah, yeah we need that sometimes we, we need that to to just to listen to the music inside mm -hmm. you know and it and it really helps you to to bring out the best creativity so right. in, in yourself you're so right about that. Um, let me just urge our our um, viewers right now to subscribe to Courtney's um, YouTube channel. We need those numbers to go up as high as they can possibly go and beyond, quite honestly. And um, it's very important that you um, subscribe to his channel. All right. So, um, um, by the Jojo, way, the, the, yeah, the, go ahead. Pianist, the pianist that is um, playing, that's my, my little cousin. Okay. Brandon Brandon Coleman from Asia Seventh Adventist Church. Yeah. Um, Sounding I good. To, I, I have to big up. I have to big up my little cousin Brandon and the Asia Seventh Adventist Church. Very very well done. Well said. Thank you so much, Brandon. Yeah, it sounded really good. I was kind of in tune to him actually, as, as I am to you as always. All right. So right now we are going to. Go into your second number, Total Praise. That's a song that I think is known globally. Um, why did you choose this particular song? Um, to be honest, Brandon chose the song. Oh. <laughs> um, we, we, we were just playing, and then he just started playing the song, and we were recording at the same time, so this was we just recorded right away. Awesome, just, awesome. It, it was already recording so we're just like okay we just use it but talk total, total praise you know we all have to give praise to god no matter no matter what we're doing whether it mm -hmm. is you know i agree whether, whether you're on your up or you're down because you know sometimes we, we we feel like you know because we're on the we're taking out a whole lot of l's we, we're losing a bit mm -hmm. that's actually a time to give them give thanks too because I mean, during the COVID situation, I mean, I was I was down and out because mm. I'm like, okay, I'm a touring musician, so how am I gonna figure this out? How am I gonna make money? Right. And then just being down made me find another love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we just, no matter what, just give thanks, just give praises. You know I mean? Awesome, man. Is Brandon gonna be accompanying you on this one, or you're going to do this on your own? Yeah, man. Brandon is there too. All right, let me big up Brandon and all the Seventh-day Adventists, Baptists, Pentecostal, whatever your religion, whatever your belief, want to big you all up. Sheldon, thank you so much. Total praise yeah, is up next. Blessings.
Are you enjoying the concert? Is the music touching your heart? Support our artists and their ministry. Donate to them, using any of the methods provided. Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal to name a few. Give to encourage them. Appreciate the blessing and music they have given. Your donation goes a long way. Sustains their ministry. Sustains their families. Don't delay. Do it today. Welcome back to Sax Interpretations. Once again, let me urge you guys to uh, um, send a donation, man. We need those donations. Big plans are on the way. Um, this show continuously gets it gets better. And so many artists, you are getting a chance to discover new talents that you probably have never heard before. But right now, I just want to say Cash App, Courtney Fadlin, Zell. Cordsax at yahoo.com. All right. We have a lot of people in the uh, uh, watching through Facebook as well as uh, YouTube. And I just want to give some shout outs right now to Aggie Charles. We have Louis or Loy. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Vivine Shields Barrett. We also have Aline. Aline Kerr. What's up? Denise Tyson. We have uh, Raquel Holder. Taron Abner, Shaquille Forbes, Carolyn Dennis, Mark Peters, Mark Pereiras. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Paul John, Rennell. We have Lisa. Just a whole lot of people, man. Shaquille Forbes. Whole lot of people. It would be nice if I know where exactly some of you are listening from. So take a moment and just let us know where you're listening from, whether you're listening from here in the United States are listening outside of the United States. Also want to send some shout-outs to Riza Art. Riza Art, if you're looking for fine art, and let me tell you, there's no better place to go. Riza Art. So log on to www.rhizaart.com. That's R H I Z A. ART.com and check out some of the fine arts. They're from a fine artist out of Africa. And you can get those art to add to your apartment, your office, whatever, wherever. Just support. Also want to say that it is so important that we uh, not only watch this concert, but share the link with everyone. It's not too late to share the link. We have more performances coming up from Daniel John out of Jamaica. We also have Marcus, Marcus uh, Steele out of Trinidad. They're coming up. And, of course, Courtney will be returning as well. It is important that we do that. Um, uh, Courtney is heading out to Trinidad, Guyana, and Jamaica this summer. It takes money to do that. We can't just keep everything to ourselves here. He has to go out there and share with the massive, or the masses rather. And so it's vital that you help him to be able to spread his ministry as far and wide as possible, not only via the internet, but also in person. Very important. Let me see if I'm missing anything right here. Um, 
right now we're going to go back to the go back to Jamaica. Daniel John Jackson, he's coming up with a song called Reckless Love. After that I'm going to be speaking with him briefly and then he will return with his second performance. Daniel, welcome to so uh Sax Interpretations.
Daniel John Jackson in rare form, nonetheless. My brother, it's such a joy to hear you once again on this program. And this time around, you're sounding so good, at least in my opinion. <laughs> How are you doing, so good, so good. I'm doing well so far. I'm just giving God thanks that I'm here once again. I know, so right? To you guys. Also, awesome. Indeed, indeed. Now, I've never heard that song before, Reckless Love. Yes. <laughs> What's the premise behind that song? Right, so it's speaking about how deep God loves goes. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, you say somebody doing something out of madness. <laughs> <laughs> right. So God is loving us out of madness. He's going as far as the east is from the west, which is immeasurable. Mm -hmm. And he is going beyond the call of duty. Even when we're in dirt, he's going in to get you. So wow. that's the depth of that song. And it speaks volume to me because he came and saved me. He mm. <laughs> looked at everything about me and said, hey, I'm dying for this guy. And I like that shirt you have on too, man. Oh, it's kind of like a warrior you. shirt too. <laughs> if you got fight for that love. Yeah. <laughs> that's indeed. good, man. That's good. Indeed, indeed. Now, how are things in Jamaica now that we seem to be getting over the hump of the worst of the coronavirus? Is everyone doing well? Um, what's going on? Yes, everyone is doing well. Um, it takes us a while to adapt because mm. it's I know from after after two long years, right? Right. <laughs> I can imagine. And it's a sigh of relief that we're more mobile than usual, so that we can not get business running, more shows <laughs> running, of course. <laughs> right. uh, and mostly for me, interaction with. Yeah, that interaction thing is, is mm -hmm. very important, especially to people who are outgoing. Um, for me personally, I wasn't yes. affected by it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm a little depressed because I'm a loner mm -hmm. by nature, but right. you know, I still need some kind of interaction. Right. Now, your next song is so fitting. You know, we, mm -hmm. we were done for the last two years, and now we seem to be rising above everything that happens amen and, um, but before you do your next song mm -hmm. how can one donate to your ministry uh you can reach out to me um donate to dan john jackson and paypal or you can reach out to me and we can have a conversation mm -hmm. or uh, okay great great mm -hmm. all right so daniel thank you once again i'm looking forward to still i rise that's his yes. next song yes. right here on sax interpretations don't forget to hit that subscribe bell on youtube we need those number to rise 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 as high as they can rise all right and also invite your friends to do the same don't forget donate to courtney's ministry courtney fadlin at cash up and on zell it's court sacks one at yahoo.com take it away daniel daniel john let me get that right
Are you enjoying the concert? Is the music touching your heart? Support our artists in their ministry. Donate to them, using any of the methods provided. Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal to name a few. Give to encourage them. Appreciate the blessing and music they have given. Your donation goes a long way. Sustains their ministry. Sustains their families. Don't delay. Do it today. KP Biomedical Service and Supply offers servicing and maintenance of dental, medical, and laboratory equipment. Additionally, we provide training and after-service sales support that includes 24 hours technical support. KP Biomedical Service and Supplies have partnered with major companies in the United States such as American Dental Depot, Amicus, and Incav Medical. Our engineers are fully trained with over 30 years of experience in maintenance and repairs, offering nothing but the best service every time. KP Biomedical Service and Supply is located at 39 Broad Street, Charleston, Guyana. Call us at 592-225-5640 or 592-650-7909. Follow us on Instagram at KP underscore biomedical underscore SS or on Facebook at KP Biomedical Services. KP, KP Biomedical Bi Service and Supply. Welcome back to Sax Interpretations. You just heard the music of Daniel John Jackson out of Jamaica. And we're, we're fastly winding down to the end of the show, but we have another awesome talent out of Trinidad and Tobago. His name is Marcus Steele. He's coming up next. But before Mar Marcus comes along, let me urge you once again to support to the ministry of Courtney Fadley and, and all these talented artists who have performed this evening. And if you are a sax player, man, and you're located wherever you are in the world, Courtney probably need to hear from you because we need for you to get some exposure via this program that we are presenting here. Um, if you're new, this is an ongoing program. I believe we are, what, months doing this program right now, along with another version called Gospel Interpretations, which is the vocal um, uh, show. But um, Courtney's been doing his thing. And his goal for this is to reach as many people as he possibly can reach. And not only reach people, but bring some talented musicians along with him. Courtney has never been a selfish person. I know him very well, so I can tell you that. This is why he has included people that he knows and people that he simply don't know. You know, this is one of those avenues that gives everyone an opportunity if you are a vocalist, you can do gospel interpretations. If you are a saxophonist, you can do uh, sax interpretations. All right? It is just what it is. So once again, donate. Cash App, Courtney Fadlin, Zell, courtsax1 at yahoo.com. This brother is hitting Trinidad, Jamaica, and Guyana this summer. It takes funds to do this, and I'm sure... If you have friends or relatives in these countries, or if you can afford to fly to one of these venues, you'll be able to see him live, interact with the brother, hear his ministry, hear what he's about, you know, because we can hear it as much as we can online. But when you have that face-to-face -face interaction with these artists, man, it's a totally different experience. So we want to urge you once again to support them, all right? All right, now we're going to listen to Dan, uh, to uh, Marco Steele out of Trinidad, and he's coming up with Center of My Joy. Welcome to Sax Interpretations. Yeah. 
Oh my God, that was it. Man, first of all, Marcus, how are you, my brother? I'm good, I'm good. I have a question for you. <laughs> Can I borrow your lungs? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've never heard a musician hold a note that long. And I'm there, I'm watching, I'm watching your expression and the technique that you're using. And it is so awesome. The thing is, as much as I've heard several saxophonists interpret this song, it has always sound new and fresh for each one. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been playing, bro? Um, I started playing September 2008. 2008. So that's yeah. not that long ago. Yeah. And I'm taking it that you practice daily, every day? More or less, yeah. Most of the times, yes, because I'm a part of the Trinidad and Tobago Fast Service Band. So and that's one of the instruments I play there. So basically, yeah, I practice every day. Awesome, awesome. Now, let me ask you this. What does the music that you play so eloquently, what does that mean to you? And um, what do you hope that your listeners, it will mean to them? Every time I play, before I actually play, I always ask God to let the music reach the others, let it touch somebody the same way it touched me. Mm -hmm. So that's my main goal whenever I'm playing somewhere. Um, let the music reach out to somebody's heart, let that draw them closer to God. Awesome. Are you a singer also, or do you just play the instrument? No, I cannot sing to save my life. <laughs> But you, you have you have an awesome lungs. I don't know where you get that from. That control you have holding out those notes were phenomenal, to say the least. Um, uh, yes. Let me ask you also, now that the pandemic is, uh, we're over the hump, how do you find people um, uh, interacting there in Trinidad and Tobago? Have you guys started to... Um, whole concerts and different uh, events now that it's coming, it's winding down somewhat? Um, nationwide, there hasn't been concerts as yet. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister today lifted basically all the restrictions come April 4th. Mm -hmm. So hopefully from there, from there forward, concerts and stuff may start back coming up. Awesome. Now, do you have a uh, cash app, a PayPal, any information where people can donate to your ministry if they so desire? I, I don't have cash app. I have a PayPal account, but I've never used it for receiving funds. So, All right. So what we will do, we will uh, have them to just note uh, through pay, uh, Courtney's um, information that they're donating specifically towards your ministry man it was a joy and you have one more performance to come don't know what to expect but i'm bracing myself because i know it's going to be good um uh, introduce this next song for us and why did you choose this one it's called so the, goodness of god so yes the song i'm about to do is goodness of god and the reason why i chose this is I had COVID in December. I was supposed to be part of the sax interpretations in January, mm. but my lungs, I couldn't, I wasn't able to play the sax at the time. So Courtney told me the, the following one, I'll be part of it. And I just want to give God thanks for his goodness that I'm still able to play. So that's why I chose this song. Well, uh, apparently COVID didn't affect your lungs from, from what I hear. God is good, isn't he? Yes, he is. All right, bro. Take it away. This one is called The Goodness of God. Here is Marco Steele once again, right here on Sox Interpretations. Thank you. 
Are you enjoying the concert? Is the music touching your heart? Support our artists in their ministry. Donate to them, using any of the methods provided. Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal to name a few. Give to encourage them. Appreciate the blessing and music they have given. Your donation goes a long way. 
sustains their ministry, sustains their families. Don't delay. Do it today. Welcome back to Sax Interpretations. We're right here streaming on so many different platforms Facebook, YouTube, and Sound TV, Adventist musicians, you know, a whole lot of uh, platform. And we are grateful for that. Um, at the beginning of the show, I had a little bit of technical situation going on, and my brother and dear friend stepped in. Brother Andre Campbell, I want to thank you for stepping in on my behalf. I should have said that earlier, but once I get, you know, a little bit out of my place, I'm like not feeling it. Anyway, <laughs> once right now, I'd like to uh, introduce to you Brother Andre Campbell. Hey, good to see you, Delroy. And no worries, man. Thank you, my brother. We're just all here praising the Lord. I enjoyed t t tonight's concert, tonight's event. It was wonderful. Um, you know, there's a lot of people suffering around our world. There's nations that are suffering. There's a lot of changes going on in our world. And uh, we want to pray for the nations. We want to pray for the nations that are at war. We want to pray for the people in East Africa. We want to pray for our families. And before we do that, I want to invite Courtney. I wonder if Courtney would come and pr play the song, There Is None Like You. And then I'm going to pray. Uh, and I know there's prayer requests all over the world. We're going to pray for all that God's spirit will do what it's to do. Uh, there is none like you. Take it away, Courtney. We need uh, Courtney to, uh, Courtney's actually muted. And so we're gonna bring him back on. We can't hear you just yet, Courtney, but keep pressing those buttons. We'll hear you in just a moment. There we go.
Thank you, Courtney. Let us bow our heads. Father, we are troubled by what we see in our world today. Nations are rising against nations, Lord, and uh, it seems like as we look everywhere we turn, Father, there's going to be another conflict. Father, we ask that your spirit will reign supreme. We ask that uh, these conflicts will cease, Lord. We ask that that uh, we will be given clarity as individuals as to how as how we should move and what we should do, Lord. There are some trying times that are upon us. There are some massive changes taking place in our world. And Father, I pray that you'll make us aware, make us astute, make us wise, and give us power to live, give us wisdom to live. Father, we ask uh, for the outpouring of your spirit uh, over these nations at war. We, we ask for prayer for all of the nations, Lord. There, there are changes, again, there are changes that have been made, Lord, that uh, have brought on confusion. People are trying to adjust, Lord, trying to find normal again, but normal, Lord, uh, is only found in you. And so, Father, we're leaning on you. We're seeking you first in all of these things and throughout all of these things. Father, we pray for the people of East Africa. Father, you know all the things that are taking place in that region. Father, we pray that you will you will minister through your spirit uh, in tangible and meaningful ways, Lord. Manifest yourself to the people of that region, Father. And now we pray for our families. Father, those who we live with, those who we're close, in closest proximity to, Father, we're asking that you will, you will open our eyes, that we will not, not neglect our own flesh, but Lord, we will draw close in these last days, that we will, we will practice the ministry of mattering, Lord, letting, letting others know that they matter to us as we realize that we matter to them, but most of all, Lord, that all of us matter to you. Bless us, keep us empower us protect us lord we're going into days that we do not know, we, we do not understand yet but lord with you with you uh, uh by our side with your spirit in our life lord we know that we will be able to stand even in even in these wicked days this is our prayer thanking you for the sacrifice of your son jesus christ thanking you for his blood that has covered all of us we thank you for salvation in Jesus and for eternal life. Even though we, we do not see it yet, Lord, we see through a glass darkly. We know that one day we will see him and we will see him as he is. Father, we long for this day. We look forward to it. Ease our burdens, ease our pain. But Lord, through it all, we will trust you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Brother, I want to thank you so much for that prayer. It is so well needed. And, you know, you mentioned East Africa. There's a lot of turmoil that's going on throughout the world. Burkina Faso has a situation going on for the longest. We haven't heard anything about it in this country. And, um, you know, sometimes it appears as if they're selecting, uh, they're very, very selective into what they um, uh, expose us to. But it is so important that in spite of everything that is going on, that we stay close to God because he is our only hope, you know. And it's sad that in the midst of war, in the midst of turmoil, there's still racism. That's the part that I can't seem to get over. But God knows what he's doing. God doesn't make mistakes. I've always said there's something special for us. We don't know. We probably don't know what it is yet, but there has to be a reason why we go through what we go through. Yes. I am convinced. And I'm also convinced that in the end, we're going to come out okay. You know? Amen. And Courtney, I cannot thank you enough for putting this program together. It's hard for me to believe that it's been two years because I remember when you call me and say, Delroy, I need to do this program. I need a name for it. And almost immediately, Sachs Interpretations came up. And I am being honest. I can't believe it's been two years. It seemed like just yes, a few months ago, you know, 
But that goes to show you how much I was going through over these last two years that I can't even remember stuff. You know, this pandemic has put us through a lot. For me personally, and I'm going to be very transparent now, for me personally, this pandemic could have cost me my life. Because I took up habit that I had no reason taking up. And only because of God and the friends that I confided in, while I was able to overcome. I'm a loner by nature. I don't have too many people around me at any given time. In fact... I can only tolerate people but so much. <laughs> I don't know if it's something about, you know, most of us who are creative people. We just need that space all the time to just zoom into what we need to zoom into. But I realized that the people that I let in were bad for me. So I had to cut the cord to those people. I had to let them go and go back to being in my own little world where I'm comfortable, maybe temporarily, but it's working for me. And it's through listening to Courtney, every program he did, even if, when I wasn't present at home, I would listen on my job. And this music speaks to me so much, especially this program, because I'm not hearing people people's voice. I'm hearing instrument. And Courtney, when I confided in him, he, he, he was very concerned. And I assured him that, brother, I am over this. I'm over it. So it's a blessing for me to be back in this chair, hosting or co-hosting this show. I am grateful to be here. Um, because usually I'm working on a Saturday. Going forward, my Saturdays are free. And um, I cannot begin to tell you how much I'm inspired, not only through Courtney's ministry, but the ministry of every person who has performed. I'm looking at the comments that people are leaving on Facebook and on YouTube, and it's blessing so many people. It's blessing a lot of people. And once again, let me urge you guys to subscribe. Continuously tell your friends, your neighbors, everyone why they should support this. Because God doesn't make mistakes. And there's a reason why this program is here. Courtney. We to, yeah, we have to give thanks, man. I'm happy that you're okay, Delroy. Thank you so much, uh... <laughs> Uh, producer sake to wrap up uh, thank you so much everyone daniel and uh delroy and andre and sheldon and sean who else am i leaving out marcus thank you guys so much thank you to our viewers for watching uh god bless you as delroy said be coming to a city uh pretty soon uh it could be in this u.s here the caribbean and if you're interested in having us come to your city, your church, drop us an email uh, um, somewhere around there where we have all the, there's a whole lot of places you can send emails to, right? <laughs> God bless you guys. Take care. Have an awesome week. Stay safe. We are here. As Delroy said, we came in here two years ago and um, we're, still, we're still doing our thing, man. Uh, thank you to my producer, our producer, Dr. Mark Henry. Uh, thank you so much to his family and for all the support, management, um, Carl Henry, and for all of our supporters, man. We appreciate you so much. We love you. Thank you. Thank you to my family. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be seeing you guys soon. Stay safe, stay prayed up, and stay connected. You don't want to be like Delroy who sometimes drift away and said, hey, man, I just want to be in my little corner, but I'm your <laughs> sister. So Carl and I, we have to be on him all the time, right? Um, but he's a good brother. And um, I'm happy to have you in my life, man. And uh, 
I'm Same not letting here. you go, man. Um, and that's what we need, each other to survive. God bless you guys. Love you. And the song says, Standing on the Promises, one of my favorites. Yes. I'm just going to close off with that, man. Take care, guys. Um, and uh, just drop us any comments, man, anything you want to say. Just let us know how you feel about the concerts that we've been doing. Have they been a blessing to you? Let us know where you're, where you're watching from, as Delroy said. And uh, we'll see you next time, all right, next month uh, with Gospel Interpretations. God bless you. Peace, everyone. Take care.